Contribution margin problem one. Guava Company has provided the following information. Sales price per unit, $42. Variable cost per unit, $12. Fixed cost per month, $12,000. Calculate the contribution margin ratio. Calculating contribution margin is one of the most important calculations in all managerial accounting. There's just so many elements that go into or are affected by the contribution margin where contribution margin is a building block to get to that calculation or to get to that end result. So many things, so many types of business decisions based, are based on contribution margin. Remember, contribution margin is sales minus, and pause the video, think about what it is, variable costs. VC, variable costs. And that gives us contribution margin. Now, contribution margin can be either the contribution margin ratio, where you take the contribution margin over the amount of sales, or you can be just calculating contribution margin in total, contribution margin per unit. Here, we're looking at the contribution margin ratio. So contribution margin ratio is contribution margin over sales, and that gives you the contribution margin ratio. Again, contribution margin is so important in determining so many, so many different things in managerial accounting, so many different decisions. This one's pretty straightforward. All we're gonna do, take the $42 sales price minus our variable costs, and we're gonna divide that by the sales number, that contribution margin we calculate, and we're gonna get our contribution margin ratio. So $42 minus $12, that's what our contribution margin is. That gives us a $30 contribution margin. Simple as that. We're going to take that $30 contribution margin and to get the contribution margin ratio, again, the formula is contribution margin over sales. So we take $30 contribution margin, divide that by the sales amount, which is $42. We're going to get a contribution margin ratio of 71.43%. And that's it. That is how we get the contribution margin ratio. Simple as that. So we're starting off as my problems normally do, you know, they get progressively harder where we start using contribution margin and looking and backing into it different ways. This one is as simple as it gets. A very simple plain vanilla contribution margin question. And again, it's just real straightforward. Just have to remember the formula. Sales minus variable cost gives us contribution margin. To get the contribution margin ratio, we take contribution margin over sales to get that ratio.